Some of you that are watching right now uh, may be concerned or wonder, okay, great, so what do I do? How do I prepare? Well, I tell you what, this is my own personal opinion. I believe that this is going to be the church's finest hour. Some people may be full of fear, but I want you to know God has not given us a spirit of fear, but one of love and peace and of a sound mind. God is going to be with you throughout all of this. You have no reason to fear. As a matter of fact, I have almost died so many times I've lost count. I have no fear. I have no fear. I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that I'm in God's hands. And if He doesn't want me to go, it doesn't matter what happened, I'm not going. But if he wants me to go, then it's my time, well then take me, Lord. But I have no fear. I've had guns, literally, at my head twice, just me and the gunman. I've been in major car accidents, and uh, it's not my time. And so we don't need to fear. You need to realize that God has given you a job. You've been created as a person of destiny. You could have lived any time in history, but God has chosen you to live right here, right now, to reach those people that only you know. The Lord is coming very soon. I believe what is going to be coming is, I compare it to the Super Bowl of human history. For me, it's put me in the game, coach. Don't take me out of the game. I believe more miracles are going to be happening than we have ever seen before in history. It's not time to be afraid. It is time to press forward and realize that the Lord is coming very soon. One of the greatest things that we know is God is a rock. God is a firm foundation. There is no shadow of turning with Him. God, what He says, He's going to do. And one of the most amazing verses in the Bible to me is from Psalms 102. It says, when the Lord begins to build up Zion, then he will appear in his glory. Did you catch that? When the Lord shall begin to build up Zion, that's when he'll appear in his glory. Zion is another name for Jerusalem. Jerusalem was recaptured in 1967, and we had the sign of the four blood moons. Well, guess what the next few verses say after that? It says, and this is written for the generation to come. Do you know what that means in Hebrew? The word is akaron, and it means the terminal generation, the last generation. So this Psalm 102, talking about when the Lord shall begin to build up Zion, and that's when he'll appear in his glory. And then it says, and this is written for the last, the terminal generation. It says, it is the glory of God to conceal a matter, and it's the honor of kings to search it out. When we realize in 1967 that Israel captured Jerusalem, if you look at the Shemitah cycle, the 50-year Jubilee would be 2017. We are right there. We, I believe, are that terminal generation before the Messiah comes. I refuse to accept that view. Time will tell. But we need to realize that God is the rock. The sun rises in the east, it sets in the west. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. But we need to understand what these prophecies mean.